Hey folks, Vinny here, To Be On The Water Guide Service, also Vin's Bug Shop. We're going to tie up a Pearl Core Estaz Caddis. Um, basically looks like a Viagra Caddis on steroids. We're, we're souping it up for, for steelhead. Pieces, parts, Pearl Core braid. We're going to use olive. I'm certainly sure you can also use chartreuse. Or, you know, it's your fly, whatever color you want. That's what I always say, right? Thread. I'm going to use olive. UTC 70, which is basically just six odd thread. And then for the body, we're going to use opalescent black Estaz. Hook, we're going to use a, a size 10 Mustad 9174 for the hook. Another uh, very simple fly to tie. The hook and the vise. Thread from behind the eye. Back so that the thread, when it's hanging down, hanging off the barb just like so I snip that top thread off All right, we're gonna take a one inch piece of the pearl core braid one inch piece we're gonna lash that down about three quarters of the way up the hook just lash it down tie it in this stuff unravels real easy I'm going to secure that. I'm right, going two in the back and come back around. Now we're going to tie in the Estaz at the same point. That's the pearl core braid. Same spot. And wind it backward. Right back to that tie in point. Okay. And then as you're coming forward, fold back the Estaz and then wind forward. Try and catch those. Catch the material that's running astray here, okay? And then thread, just leave it hanging right off the eye of the hook. The S ties in, we're going to go out and come underneath the hook. And we're going to take two reps forward. We're going to go one. We're going to go two. And then what we're going to do, take three wraps over the top with your thread to secure that S ties in. And take one or two in the front there. Snip the Estaz. Remember, push that thread away. And come in and snip that Estaz. And pull the body material back. Try and make a nice, neat head. Check underneath. We're looking good. Alright. Alright, once you have a nice little neat head there, take your whip finisher or your half inch tool and go around five times. A little snug tug. Head cement, I use the Fly Tight by Fly Right. Guys give Ty a call, he'll hook you up, and stuff is awesome. Been using it for many years. And it doesn't really eat the paint. Like you've got your uh, bead heads and stuff. It doesn't eat the paint to finish off the bead heads either. At least that's what I've noticed. Okay, snip your thread. And then your fly's done. Now the only thing you're going to need to do is singe the tail. Alright, so it doesn't come unraveled on you. If it comes unraveled, you're just going to have the sheen in the back. Which isn't a bad thing. It looks real nice. Especially on that squiggler fly. And the core comes out. What you do is you have a, a cup of cold water there. Put the, uh, I guess your right hand in that, get your fingers real wet. Use your left hand, and I, I use our gas stove. So what I'll do is I'll put the tail of that to the flame, the bottom end of that to the flame, and then roll it real quick with your with the wet hands. And it'll come to a nice little point like this. That won't unravel on you. All right. So there it is, pretty simple. Another simple fly for salmon steelhead season. This is more geared towards steelhead than anything, and I'm sure... You got high water, a trout will take that also. Um, but this is designed for steelhead. And something's very simple to tie. You can tie it in pretty much any color you want also. So there you have it. Uh, Pearl Core Estaz Caddis. Thanks for watching, guys.